my Jay Aces. Welcome to my channel. I'm finally about to start vlogging for y'all. So bear with me because it's been a minute. I decided to come back with a good little vlog for y'all. This is gonna be my first time out of the country, y'all. Like I'm so freaking excited. I've never been out the country before and I just can't wait. I'm going for my best friend's birthday. We're going to Punta Cana. Ah! If y'all don't know where that's at, that's in the Dominican Republic. So I'm so, so excited for that. But yeah, I'm finally about to start vlogging and just getting a little bit more open with my life on my personal channel or whatever. But y'all gotta bear with me because your girl have not been on camera like this in a minute just you know yeah y'all just gotta be with your girl okay but if you are new to the channel do not forget to like comment and subscribe i cannot wait to bring y'all new content all 2024 and up y'all like this is like a new journey for me and i'm a little nervous but i know everything's gonna work out just fine but i felt like it was only right to start my channel back off with a vlog and i'm going to be doing a out of the country vlog i'm so so excited y'all i cannot wait y'all y'all wanna know what's crazy like my best friend's birthday is on march 2nd and i got my passport about uh, like about maybe two weeks ago but before that i had literally applied for my passport about like a month ago and they were saying it was gonna take like four to six months and i was just like i hope not because I really want to go on my best friend's, you know, vacation trip. Like, I really want to go and spend time with her, celebrate her birthday. And, of course, your girl want to go out the country. So, I'm just happy my passport came in time. I was really, really nervous about that because I was telling my best friend, it just all depends. If my passport come, we in there, baby. But if it don't, then your girl just going to have to wait. But your girl didn't got her passport. <laughs> y'all i got this cover off of amazon i'm gonna um put the link down below but it's so freaking cute like let's just get into the freaking passport cover like it's too cute this is so me y'all i love chrome everything and i love pink so i had to get it it's so cute it's really really cute but i'm about to go ahead and start packing y'all this house is a freaking mess as y'all can see say it's knocked out on the couch I believe it's currently right now, it's 1027 y'all. I've been up since early this morning. I did my own braids because I didn't want to spend all that money right now. Like, whew, y'all getting your hair done nowadays is crazy. Like the pricing is just, whoo. Like I saw somebody charge like 600 for some knotless braids in medium size. I said, oh baby, I'll just do it myself. I will go to the beauty supply store and spend that good little $70 and call it a day so last night i had did my hair and it turned out so freaking cute y'all as y'all can see um i wish i was a little bit more neater on this part but honestly i kind of like it like i kind of like the effortless look i love fresh braids but sometimes i just love when braids get like a little old or like a little you know outgrown and it just give it like that natural effortless look i can't explain it but i love my hair y'all i really really do it's cute i decided to add some blonde in the hair as well i thought that would be really cute because i never tried blonde in, with braids before and then i added like some little highlights like right here so i feel like that was really cute but let me know what y'all think of my hair of course i'm gonna fix it up and everything when i uh wake up tomorrow and stuff like that but right now i just got it out my face because y'all know braiding hair can break you out okay but um i'm about to go ahead and start packing y'all this house looks atrocious literally um i got my outfits all laid out i got other clothes in the washer right now well in the dryer because yeah we can't be going to punta cana with some dirty clothes that's just not it y'all that's not mm -mm. but i'm about to go ahead and start packing and then once i'm done packing i don't know if i want to clean up this house after i'm done or just wait till tomorrow which that's what it's looking like also let me let y'all say hey to ace real quick hey ac baby hi amin hi a fun fact um i had said this on tiktok like a while back like maybe like a week ago 
and before I decide to vlog will start vlogging again on this channel I was like I was thinking of names and I was like J Aces would be really cute because Aces rhyme with J but also my dog name is Ace and Ace is a very very special word to me um so I was like Ace like y'all my Aces because some of y'all been here since like literally I first started YouTube which is crazy so it's only right to call y'all my ace so i got j aces so let me know if y'all like that name for y'all if y'all don't then i'ma just think of another name hopefully y'all do like it because i really really like it and i think it's very um i don't know i just think it's it's cute so just let me know if y'all like that name but i'm gonna go ahead and start packing because i'm trying to get to go to sleep at least by 12 o'clock so yeah let's go ahead and get to packing y'all y'all my grandma taught me how to do this y'all so whenever you trying to make everything fit just roll it <laughs> that's all you got to do all right y'all so so far we have one two three four five six six outfits right now i got probably like four more to pack but we definitely gonna have enough room though so at least we on track. Like I just love pack. I love overpacking. Like I feel like when you overpack, you just have so many options. Like it's just you're overprepared. Like you can't go wrong with that. So definitely love overpacking rather than underpacking because yeah, we don't want that. That would be horrible. Okay, y'all. So I'm basically done packing my clothes. Now I just gotta go ahead and do like you know all the essentials like body wash perfume, makeup, toothbrush, all that type of stuff. So I'm about to go ahead and start that now. Y'all, I call myself getting um, these little travel kits, not kits, but these little packets off of Amazon and I didn't even really need them. They might come in handy later on, but I really don't need them because I just found out that I have a free check bag. So, and also I have a free carry on and then I can bring a personal item. So that's enough that's just enough for me so yes yeah, so i don't need these at all it was a waste of money to buy them but maybe i can use them you know in the near future but i'm gonna go ahead and pack my makeup i told myself for this trip i was not gonna wear no makeup but your girl can't help it i'm a girl okay i'm a girly girl so i love just getting cute and doing my makeup it'll be times where i don't want to wear makeup at all y'all so i just will go weeks without wearing makeup and then it'll be times where i just have like this I don't know this phase where I want to like wear, you know, makeup and get really cute and stuff. But I had already washed my brushes. Um, they're almost dry. They're a little damp. But I'm about to go ahead and put them in my little brush container that I have. And yeah, so I guess y'all can just watch me um, pack all my little essentials up and stuff. Y'all, I'm so tired. It's like 1230 and your girl is sleepy okay but i gotta get this done because in the morning i have content to do with my boyfriend before i head out and then i gotta make sure i just you know just got everything good around the house because i told y'all i gotta clean up and i don't think i told y'all that i leave tomorrow at 4 50 p.m i get to atlanta oh i didn't tell y'all this is why y'all gotta bear with me because i feel like i'm just I don't know like ugh. i gotta get myself together for vlogging for y'all because i'll be all over the place but um tomorrow i'm going to atlanta first on the 28th of february because i gotta go to my best friend's house we all linking up there it's just three of us going um and then it's a friend of my best friends and she's really cool but yeah so we all wanted to go together at first we was gonna fly separately like i was gonna fly out of houston um her friend was gonna fly out of baltimore and she's gonna fly out of atlanta but we realized like no like we want to all fly together because we just want it'll be safer that way and it'll be more fun like you know we can go get some drinks before we get on the plane even get some drinks on the plane like we just want to you know all come at the same time so we end up changing our flights to flying together so i gotta go to atlanta tomorrow at 4 50 p.m get to atlanta is seven something and then the next day on the 29th that's when we leave out for punta cana i can't wait y'all like i am so excited and we leave um early in the morning on the 29th like early early i'm talking about like we got to be at the airport at like maybe six six thirty seven no six thirty because i fly leave at eight so that's update y'all i 
y'all y'all gotta bear with me i feel like such a horrible vlogger but your girl's gonna get it together just give me time because i gotta get used to this like i don't want y'all to you know I, I just want y'all to be entertained and i'll just you know i want to i want to be a good vlogger for y'all like of course because y'all watching me y'all you know is sparing y'all time to me and thank y'all for watching if you made it this far but i'm about to go ahead and start packing because it's getting late and i'm tired so let me stop doing all this talking okay <laughs> i don't know if i should wear these y'all i'm trying to figure out if i want to wear these shoes because i want to look cute when i go to the airport but as y'all see it's the next day and i cleaned up the house a little bit you guys but my baby he gonna do the rest thanks for that baby i love you and he recording right now behind the camera you want to say hey to jay aces real quick yeah what's up jay aces <laughs> so i'm about to get ready to go you guys i was supposed to leave at two um but that didn't end up happening but as long as i'm out the house by 2 30 i am fine i gotta get a um i gotta get a uber you guys because our car is currently it gotta go in the shop you guys and we gotta get that fixed when i get back but yeah so i'm about to go ahead and get the uber about to go to the airport and that's really it that's the update i finished packing last night I finished at like two o'clock, you guys. And as y'all can see, some of y'all probably was wondering why I had like that little heart on my face. It was um, a pimple patch thingy. And I had a big pimple, y'all, on my face. But it finally went down thanks to the pimple patches. I get them from Ulta, if y'all wanna know. But yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and go to the airport. I gotta go to Atlanta first, then we're going to Punta Cana. And I'm probably gonna do a part two of this vlog of when I'm actually in Punta Cana. So stay tuned for that. But right now, we got to be on the way to the airport because we got to be there by four. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the airport. So I made it past TSA, y'all. It was not that packed like at all, you guys. And I ended up getting me some chicken play because your girl is hungry. But I'm just waiting to board now. And yeah, it was a really like a smooth selling um, getting to the gate. So I'm just waiting to get on the plane, y'all. I'm so excited. But yeah, so I'm about to just eat my Chick-fil-A. And wait to get on the plane. Hey vlog, so I am with my bestie and I'm with Naja. So hey. hey. Anyway, y'all, um, I just landed. The flight was good until the end, y'all. <laughs> Turbulence was something. Like my stomach kept dropping. Everybody on that plane was terrified, but we it made it through. Bad. I would have started playing. Yes. We was like, what is going on? But other than that, it was good. And I met a really cool lady on the plane. She was really sweet. She was talking about how she had to spend the night at the hotel. I mean, not at the hotel, but at the airport tonight because she had to wear her boyfriend or something. She was just telling her whole life story. Like, I knew her for a long time, but she was really cool and really sweet. Y'all, I'm tired. And I was going to do my hair over again, but Morgan and I just said I should keep it's it. cute. So I'm gonna I'm a keep it, y'all, because who got time to be redoing all this? Here? No, it already took me like six hours to do. I'm not gonna oh, do all that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys know when we get to Morgan's house. Like I told y'all, tomorrow we are going to Punta Cana. I can't wait. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. So bye. All right, y'all, we about to take a shot. So. Ready? Punta Cana 2024. We gotta get the boomerangs right. Two, three, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two, three. But I'm about to go ahead and redo my hair because we gotta wake up. Well, I'm not gonna redo the whole thing. <laughs> because I know they was like, hold on that. But um, y'all, I'm gonna redo my hair. I'm gonna redo my hair in the front. And yeah, we gotta be up at like five in the morning. So literally, we probably might as well not even sleep, y'all. Literally, for real. All right, y'all. So me, Morgan, and I, Asia, we finally get, got through the TSA, y'all. It wasn't even that bad. Like, but we got here like super early, you guys. Our flight is at eight fifty, right, Resty? What's on my flight? Eight fifteen, and we got here at like five five thirty. So. It wasn't really bad. We had got something to eat. We had got Starbucks because we, re we really didn't really see nothing that we really wanted to eat <laughs> out of the airport. So we're just going to wait till we get to Punta Cana. But I had got me this little turkey pesto panini from Starbucks. And we're going to try it, y'all, because this is my first time ever eating breakfast 
from Starbucks. And then I got me a caramel mocha frappuccino. So we're gonna try it and see. And they had messed up my order the first time, but it's okay. They should have gave me a complimentary uh, drink or something, but it's cool. Christian Torres, Christian and Oswald. We got green stuff. It's, what's the green stuff? Oh, guacamole. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was guacamole, but it's actually really good. You know, I could see with it though, some hot sauce, y'all. Hot sauce would be bust with it. I'm for real, right? Hot sauce would be bust with this, y'all. But, oh, and y'all, I had stayed up. So we had to leave, we had to leave around like five o'clock. I had stayed up all night doing my hair, y'all. So I'm proud of myself because usually I'd be like, uh-uh, I'm going to bed. I'll do it later or I'm not going to do it at all. But nope, your girl did and finished the hair. I just wanted the little braids more smaller. And I did just that because the braids before, it really didn't fit my head how I wanted it to fit my head. But anyway, y'all. We waiting to board the flight now, so yeah, but I'm excited. This is my first time out the country. We about to celebrate my bestie's birthday. Bestie Wesley. Big 24. Big 24. Everything look good, hair look good, face look good, period, everything. So cute. Those are really cute, y'all. I, when she sent me a picture of them, I thought they was all black, but they really sparkly, y'all see? So cute. Then Asia. <laughs> but I'm gonna see you guys when we are on the flight. So bye. Show y'all, I finally got my passport stamped, y'all. Hold on, I'm about to show y'all real quick. What did I say, y'all? Punta Cana. I got my passport stamped. All right, y'all. So as soon as you get past like the whole passport check and stuff, you go right into like the liquor area, and we trying to figure out what bottles to get. They have so much liquor. It's crazy. But yeah, we about to figure out um, what bottles we getting. I'm gonna get back to y'all. Probably gonna get out. We had two drinks on that flight, y'all. And your girl is <laughs> But we made it to Punta <laughs> So we waiting on um, our transport to get here. We don't know where they at, but they supposed to be holding up a sign saying Princess Morgan. But y'all, as soon as we walk out of the airport, it's hella people just trying to like, you know, get you to get like with their taxis and stuff, get you to like, you know, transport with them and all that. It's crazy. It's really crazy out here, but it's a vibe. It's hot, y'all. It's really, really hot, but yeah, we gotta have fun. But I mean, the hot Birthday girls room. It's so pretty. Y'all see my dog. Ah. 
kitchen. I know that's right. Period. And then bathroom. Okay, this is really a vibe. Like I'm ready to have a good time, y'all. Closet. You got your own closet, bestie. Don't play with you. It's. I ain't gonna lie though. It's a little humid out here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a little. I know. AC better work. Shoot. But this is really beautiful though, you guys. And then this is the kitchen. The kitchen. This is how everything look. Bruh, if these slides don't move. <laughs> and then I showed y'all the balcony already. I'm gonna show y'all again because it's such a vibe. Oh, what the fuck? Like, make some noise. Make what some the fuck? Go, bestie. Yeah. I couldn't find my speaker, y'all. So I didn't bring one, but. Luckily, they have a speaker, so we good. But this is my room, y'all. It's so cute in here. I got my own closet. Don't play. Oh, I, that's locked for some odd reason. I don't know why this is locked, but um. But you guys, we about to go ahead and just. I don't know what we about to do. <laughs> we about to just. It's so hot. Like when I tell y'all, okay, it's hot. It's hot, but we about to figure out what we about to do, you guys. I'm really hungry, so we probably gonna get something to eat. But this yeah. is a really nice Airbnb. Like I'm not gonna hold y'all like the details of everything is so pretty. Just I can't wait to see how it look at nighttime. But I'm gonna see y'all when uh, some interesting happen. Bye. All right, y'all. So this is how the fit is looking. Bessie, show your fit out. Oh, period, so mama. Hold on. Natural my face shoes. is giving. My shoes, my shoes, my shoes. The shoes look okay. bomb. Okay, period. Get into it. Get into it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Naja. Okay. The body is body in, honey. That color pretty on you too. But y'all, we about to go ahead and go to Congo Bongo. What do you? What you call it? Bongo Congo? Coco Bongo. Coco Bongo. 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 But first, we got to take a little shot that we got. Thanks to Morgan. You <laughs> got um, um, oh, Cheers. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> if y'all thought I wasn't on this, this is good, y'all. <laughs> this is what it is. It's so good. Mira, mira, mira. This outfit is giving. Mira, me, look. All right, y'all, really quickly because our ride is outside, but we are about to go to this club called Infinity. This is what I currently got on right now. Just these cute little tights I got from Shein and this cute little see-through bodysuit that I got from Fashion Nova with my little purse. Um, I really don't like Gucci like that, y'all, but this is the only small purse I have, and it goes with it, so why not? And I got on some cute little neon sandals y'all i'm not gonna wear heels heels would go a lot more better with this outfit y'all but we ain't doing heels tonight it's just no we're gonna start over tomorrow we might do heels tomorrow who knows but tonight i just gonna be chill not doing too much so yeah i got on oh and my asia she she's calling for the shots y'all calling for the shot shot a clock you look cute asia Oh, girl, you look good. Period. Bessie, let's yeah. get to it. Okay, birthday yeah. girl, let them know what's up. Excuse oh, me. yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ow, 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 <laughs> you crazy. But we about to go ahead and leave, y'all. And I got to take my shot first. Got the Casamigos ready. Oh, pour me up, Nigel, real quick. That's a shot. Damn, that's a shot. That's a shot. Oh, that's your nasty, y'all. <laughs> uh, but we about to have fun tonight, you guys. Um, we ain't gonna talk too much about the Airbnb. The Airbnb is really nice, but the host of the Airbnb pissing us off, y'all, for real. But it's okay. We gonna talk about that later. We ain't even about to let that energy ruin the night. But we about to go out tonight, you guys, and we going to Infinity. So see y'all when we get to our destination. <laughs> I mean, we, I, we we wanted to see if we can find a, have another place to stay, like go somewhere else within her community, but nobody, she didn't say anything about that. She's basically telling us we just need to cancel on our end, but where are we supposed to stay after that? Yeah, let me get a full refund. 
But it says something like we got a full refund, but she ain't say nothing about it. So we don't know. You need pictures. I have pictures. And also, when we came in, the door didn't lock. She had to come back here and lock our and, and fix our door because our door didn't lock. So where do you need me to see these pictures? Because I have pictures of the bed buzz, and we I don't know how to show you that the, the I don't know how to show you that the community is not gated. And this is why the, this is why the bugs is coming in because it's a fucking crack in the door. Oh shit, y'all. So we've been having like blood issues. And tell me why it's a crack right there in the door. <laughs> so we would have to, so, so let me know. Like, okay, let me tell y'all what's going on. J Aces, because well, we, we couldn't Airbnb. even stay in our Airbnb last night because of the simple fact that it was just a safety issue. Um, Y'all, it's, it's, such a long story so we went out last night to this club called infinity and you know ubers at night for some reason i guess um it's a hustle for them so they act like they pick you up and drop you off but they don't pick you up and they do a drop off point i'm trying to make this make sense to y'all but pretty much they basically scammed us out of money with ubers and we took forever to get back to the airbnb last night and we was just kind of you know we was just really uneasy because so many people had our address a guy had came up to me trying to flirt with me and little did i know he had a whole rifle in his hand as soon as he walked away and you know how people it's crazy nowadays like if you did excuse my edges y'all i look crazy but if you you know decline somebody or whatever people is crazy anyway we got bed bugs in my room, so I couldn't sleep in my room last night. It was a big ass fight in the shower, and then that's all in the fucking shower in the corner in Morgan's room. And it's, it was a big ass, I don't know where that spider went though, but that was a big spider, y'all. I'm gonna put a clip in there and show y'all. Oh, that's nasty. But we had to stay in the whole hotel last night, so hopefully, we can get a refund and cancel this airbnb and get a new one hopefully um the owner's husband came by and he kind of he was he was um you can't really blame him you oh my bad but you can't really blame him but i'm about to see what's going on and yeah it's a lot going on y'all and this is only day two. All right, y'all. So it is like six hours later, and we finally made it to our new Airbnb. And honestly, it's way better than our old one, y'all. Like, Gabrielle, Gabriella, Gabrielle, whatever your name is, you know you're wrong. And it's okay because we got our money back from the last Airbnb. Uh, okay, but y'all, <laughs> not Asia crazy, but I'm about to show y'all how our new Airbnb looks. It looks really, really nice. So this is like when you first walk in, you got like a little dining area and you got a little window. It's so cute out here. I'm going to show y'all the um, balcony in a minute, but let me see if these lights work. Hold on. Oh, no. So it's, oh, ooh, okay. So this is how it looks with the lights on. I just love this window. It's so freaking pretty and tall, but this is a guest bathroom right here if like we have guests over. You know, they could get ready in this bathroom instead of, you know, in our personal bathrooms. And then you have the kitchen area. It's pretty cute. Nothing too, too crazy. And then this area right here, y'all, let me tell y'all something. I thought I was going to begin this room. <laughs> but turned out, no. But this is a little room, like, sanded off. And you guys own bathroom. I'll show you not Asia's room. This is her room. It's so freaking pretty. And then it got a balcony. So beautiful. Like, what? Beautiful. And then the bathroom. This is how the bathroom looks, y'all. It's so long. Got a walk-in shower. It's so freaking pretty. And now we're going to go up to the stairs. Y'all, I love these floating stairs. Like, it's such a vibe, for real. But we're going to go up the stairs, y'all. And then this door right here is locked. But then you got like a hallway. I don't know if it's like a mall. Oh yeah. So you got the hallway. 
And I'm gonna show y'all my room. This is my room. It got its own bathroom. Y'all, look at the freaking bathroom. I got my little closet, my shower, my toilet. And you know, it's cute. I love it. It's such a vibe. And then this area right here, I think this is just extra closet space. Not sure how you turn my mouth. Yep, extra closet space. This is the birthday girls' room, Morgan's. It's so freaking pretty. And they got like a little balcony thing going on. This is so fun. I'm doing some get ready with me right here. What? What happened? Oh, we didn't even know about this. Hold on. This is a vibe. Oh, it leads from the back. Oh, okay, Paris. I can just come out here if I want to. Paris, okay. This is nice. Y'all know we'll make it a 10, a thousand, a pool on top. That should be hard. This is Morgan's bathroom, by the way. This is so pretty. As y'all can see, the shower and then the toilet and stuff. But I love the view, y'all. I didn't show y'all the outside, so I'm gonna show y'all real quick. And y'all, the view is so freaking beautiful. Look at this. Uh, this is so freaking pretty, y'all. But y'all, we are staying here for the next, I believe, three days. Well, technically two days. We got two, two days left because this day was basically consisted of us trying to find a whole new Airbnb because the host was tripping all day today. But everything worked out just fine. And yeah, by the grace of God. So, period. But we about to go ahead and get ready um, to start our day or night. We, we got to get ready to start our night, y'all. So, I'm going to see y'all when we are probably dressed. All right, y'all, so this is how I'm looking at the outfit, you guys. I was going to wear black heels with um, this dress, but I was like, you know what? Mm -mm, because we're going to be walking and stuff, so I don't want to do too much. We are going to a restaurant called Maquetes. I, I don't know the name of it for real, y'all, but when we get there, I'm going to give y'all the name. And we have not ate all day because we were dealing with that Airbnb stuff, you guys. But finally got that resolved. It turned out working out perfectly. But... Yeah, you guys, I'm gonna see y'all when we get to the restaurant. It's crazy. So I wanna give a cheers to my 24th birthday. Woo! Um, thank y'all so much for being here. It's my trip. Um, I really wanna thank y'all for always. Oh my God, I gotta be doing the hard Don't cry, Bessie. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, for real. Thank y'all. Cause I feel like it's gonna pop up and he's gone. So, <laughs> but um, I genuinely wanna thank both y'all for being there for me through the hardest time of my life. And I love you. And I really am so grateful that God, God loved me enough to keep me 24. Because I never thought I was going to see this day. Like a year ago, it never seemed possible. Oh. So I'm so happy that y'all are here with me. And I'm so happy. Happy 24th birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Bestie. You look good in that age. Okay. But y'all, we about to go get something to eat, you guys, because we are starving and then we're gonna start our day. Last night was definitely a vibe, y'all. But where we went last night, it was definitely a vibe. It was like right next to Coco Bungo or the club that was in Coco Bungo that's like really popular. And it was actually fun. Like we had some shots, we had hookah, we danced, like it was definitely a vibe. 
and I can unsay, put the condo, baby. Y'all might see me again, okay? Because I'm having a good time so far. Yes, you're going to go see me. I mean, because at first, yeah, you're going to go see me again. But yeah. after last night, I'm like, y'all knew what happened yeah. before that. Shoot. But honestly, everything worked out just fine. This Airbnb is so freaking nice, you guys. Like, it just feels good waking up to a nice Airbnb without bugs, bed bugs, oh. everything. Oh, okay. They, they, okay, I'm going to add a sign on there. You motherfuckers say they saw a lizard. Oh, yeah. Then they had the audacity to tell me, oh, he's more scared of you than you. Uh-uh. This ain't no bug. Yo, like, they was really tripping, but it's okay. Gabrielle, love. You know you. Oh. <laughs> but we gotta go get something to eat, y'all. And this is what I got on today. This cute little shorts. It's hot outside, so, yeah. Shot the clock, y'all. We take a shot, even though we haven't eaten nothing. But it don't matter, because it's my best birthday. Woo! Shit, nah. Period. Ooh, we're picking this up in one minute. Un momento. Un momento. Y'all be like some Spanish out here and make them too. Right. When we first got here, <laughs> and the just was like, we don't speak English. <laughs> I was on one. It's like, what? I said, you don't speak English. They was like, what? Hey? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what do you mean? So you speak Espanol? Me neither. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I had to get mine reordered. Y'all they had made it um not well done, but it's cool though because now it's done and it looks so good. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat because it looks too good, I'm hungry. So yeah. We are about to go to the pool. Y'all, we have yet to get into the pool, so we decided before we get ready for dinner tonight, we was gonna go to the pool. I don't know, I'm just so sleepy because I barely be in rest, but it's okay because I'm on vacation. I cannot wait to go out tonight and eat at this restaurant. It's called SBG, and it has some really good food, and then we gonna go, um, I think, to Coco Bunga. Either Coco Bunga or Imagine tonight. So, and Imagine, that's like a club where it's like a cave inside and stuff. We was going to do excursions, but we might just do that tomorrow, y'all. But we might find like something to do today as far as like zip lining or something. But if anything, we'll just have tomorrow be the excursion day. But right now, we just want to celebrate my bestie's birthday and go out to eat. And then we're going out later. So, yeah, but we are about to go to the pool. So, I'm going to see y'all when we are at the pool. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a, a party boat. Yeah, a party boat. A boat party. That's gonna be the best. Oh, I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up. Let's go. Oh, y'all gonna go to a boat party. That's gonna be the best. Y'
Hopefully I can get on this flight and then I can just transfer my ticket because I had a stop as well. So I was supposed to stop in Fort Lauderdale and then go to Houston. But I'm not going to be able to go make the Fort Lauderdale flight because I'm not going to be able to get on the flight that I was supposed to leave at that time. So y'all, this has to be one of the, the worst things that could happen. But it's okay. But it was this really nice lady. She's sitting like right there. She's so sweet. Um, she had she had called her friend that worked at the airport to see if I was able to get a flight out today. Um, but unfortunately, I wasn't. But it's not all work out. If anything, I'm just gonna go to Baltimore and then get a flight from Baltimore to Houston. I'm just worried about my bag because my bag is going to Fort Lauderdale in Houston, and I don't want to get lost. Um, but hopefully the airline will like, you know, notify them about my bags and just, you know, watch out for it. But y'all, this is crazy. This gotta be one of the worst things that could happen out the country. And I know, lesson learned, never to get a standby ticket. 
at least when you leave the country. But coming, it's okay. But leaving, uh-uh, no. But y'all, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Everything's gonna work out fine. And the guests of God, okay? That's all, I'm depending on God. That's all I can do. But I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog so far. I kinda don't like how it ended, but it was still a good memory trip. My first time out the country, I really enjoyed it. But I'm gonna keep y'all updated and hopefully I can get on this Baltimore flight so I can go home to Houston. The only thing about it is it's three hours to go to Baltimore and then it's three hours to go to Houston. So that's six hours, that's crazy. But um, hopefully I get on this flight, y'all. Let's, let's, fingers crossed. And yeah. So we waiting right now um, to see if I can get on the flight. But I forgot to tell y'all, my phone all of a sudden wanted to stop working after like literally this morning. So my SIM card, it says no SIM, so that means I can't text nobody, call nobody. My phone is not working at all. And I can only depend on Wi-Fi. But the airport Wi-Fi does not work. So your girl just, your girl going through it. But we gonna get through it. It's okay. I had got a little emotional earlier. But everything gonna be okay. And I thank my Asia for being so helpful. Like, y'all, now you have a great time, okay? But I'm going to see y'all um, in a minute. All right, y'all. So I made it on the Baltimore flight. But unfortunately, I didn't make the flight from Baltimore to Houston. The 805 went on time. So basically, I got to stay in BWI for the whole night. So I got to sleep here tonight. Well, I'm not sleeping here, y'all. I'm going to try my best to stay up as long as possible. But my flight going to Houston is at 7.15 a.m., you guys. So I tried, though. Like, as soon as I got off that flight, I literally ran because um, I had talked to one of the flight attendants. And I was like, is there any way? Because the reason why I wasn't going to be able to make that 805 flight is because what I told y'all earlier, it was people last minute, it was like four people, they had to put them back on, they had to put them on our flight because they couldn't get into the country in Punta Cana. So they had to send them back over to the States and we had to wait for them to get to the gate. So we pretty much was like a half an hour behind. And so, but if they, if that would have never happened, I would have made it in time. But now that I think about it, I probably wouldn't have made the 805 flight because I would have had to check my carry bag um, in under the, under the plane because it was like it was full in the plane. So either way, go your girl still was out of luck with that. But I'm just happy I'm back in the states. I'm I'm back. I'm just I'm I'm back in America, baby. I'm happy about that because I did not want to be stuck in no Punta Cana. That would have been really really bad, especially by myself. Cause I didn't want you know my friends to you know uh, stay because they would have had to find a new flight and stuff like that. But I was good because I was in the airport. But it's still the fact of like just staying the night in a whole different other country by yourself. That's kind of scary in a sense, especially when it's your first time. Like. Y'all, my y'all, this is my first time out the country, and this happened. Oh my gosh! Like, I'm just, I'm in shock. Like, but it was fun overall. Like, the trip was definitely fun. I'm grateful for everything, turning around and being just fine. Y'all know we had problems with the Airbnb at first, and we got a new Airbnb, and I'm glad that happened because our Airbnb that we got the second time, it actually turned out to be really, really nice and worth it. And we, we just had our, we had fun. Like, I feel like day two was day one, in a sense. Because it was like day one was just a lot. But day two, y'all, top, no, not even day two. Day two, three, and four. I'm tired, and I'm just ready to go back home. I'm ready to go to my baby. He, I'm currently actually on the phone with him now. I have my AirPods in. And then um, I'm ready to go see Ace. Yeah, I'm ready to go see AC, baby. Oh, my God, I miss him so much. But... I have to wait like 10 more hours until, well not even probably 10, honestly. No, yeah, about 10, 10, nine hours until I can go home. And then I have another three hour flight. It was four hour, dang near, because it was three hours and 40 minutes to get here. And it's also three hours and 40 minutes to get to Houston. But, cause y'all gotta understand, I'm all the way up north. I gotta go down south. So, it was a lot though, y'all. Like, I'm not going, I, I don't regret this trip at all. It was definitely fun. A fun first out of the country trip. I just wish I would have 
had more common sense on taking a standby flight out of like coming back from the country going to the country is cool but having a standby flight coming from the country that's where it's like okay you risking it like you don't even know if you're gonna get on that flight like what happened today because yeah this was crazy but i'm actually enjoying you know being in baltimore for some reason even though i'm not like really in baltimore i'm at the airport but it's a nice airport you know it's food places it's a lot of food places in this airport actually and it's really nice like i'm just chilling on the phone my baby i'm probably about to edit a little bit edit some content that i did out in punta Cana. but that is pretty much the vlog y'all um I just, I can't believe this happened. And then my phone, y'all, let me show y'all what I mean by my phone not working. So, my phone is literally, literally not working. Like, I can't make calls or anything if I'm not on Wi-Fi. And for some odd reason, my SIM isn't working. Y'all pay my bills, I'm, so it should be working just fine. But I think it's because my phone was already cracked. And when we went to, um, when we had went, to the party boat it was just a lot going on we was all drunk and my freaking phone had a lot of water on it so i feel like that's what it was and that's why i started tripping all of a sudden because it was working just fine on the party boat i could post without wi-fi all that and in the morning i woke up and i realized my sim was not working y'all this is what it say it say sos only now this is the first time it really said SOS only, but usually it'll say SIM in, or invalid SIM or SIM invalid. But yes, yeah, so I gotta go get a new phone when I get home. And, but it was time I need a new phone anyway. Like I need a new phone y'all. Like it was that time, like my phone's cracked and I wanna upgrade my phone for pictures and content. And y'all know I really kinda of had to vlog the whole time on my phone pretty much while we was in Punta Cana because I really didn't wanna bring the camera out. I didn't want the risk breaking it cause y'all this is an expensive camera, okay? And we just got the mic fixed on this like maybe a week and a half ago. And that cost a lot of money. So yeah, I didn't wanna risk um, messing up the camera, but that's the update you guys i am just in the airport all by myself oh and i forgot to tell y'all i had got checked like coming back into the states um coming into baltimore my bag i had to go to um i think it's called cultural baggage or something like that because i had brought sour stop back and i wasn't able to keep it they said i had to um have it frozen it could it couldn't be like you know none frozen i'm like really it's just fruit but yeah i was kind of mad about that so i wasn't gonna make it no way either way y'all i had three ways of not making it three three little obstacles and it was no way i was gonna make that like at all but yeah i'm mad i didn't get my sour stop but i could find sour stop anywhere y'all but other than that the trip was amazing i had so much fun getting back maybe not so much fun i'm just grateful that god protected me i wasn't you know like it, it, nothing really crazy happened i'm just so grateful and blessed to the man above and that's all i really i just all i can be is just happy so it could have been worse i will see you guys in the a.m i'm gonna try my best to stay up but yeah i'm gonna see you guys when i get to houston Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, I am at home literally like 10, 12 hours later, you guys. Not even 12, maybe 13 hours. I can't believe I spent the night in the hotel for over 10 hours. That's just crazy to me. Like, it was so uncomfortable. And, you know, it's really like you're not really in a comfortable space because it's random people in the, hotel, I mean, in the airport and stuff. And I just did not want to fall asleep. I kept dozing off and I just kept trying to like, you know, close my eyes for maybe like five minutes and then open it. But every time I close my eyes, I always heard somebody like, you know, near me. And it wasn't that, that they was like, you know, trying to bother me or anything. It was just the fact like, you know, people wanted to sit down, people wanted to walk around, people wanted to eat, like stuff like that. So it was just really, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna hold y'all. That was a traumatic experience for me because Baby, just imagine you getting ready to go from out the country 
And they tell you, you can't get on your flight. <laughs> they say, oh my God, y'all. Like, I said, wait, what? And it's only two flights going out that day. So I just thank God that the other flight wasn't full. And I got to go with my friend to Baltimore. At least I wasn't staying in Punta Cana by myself. Or, you know, like going. I just can't explain, y'all. But it was just. That was very, very, like, random. But after all of the. Um, the trials and error I conquered y'all like thank God that I've made it back home safely I'm with my baby say hey babe no, yeah my baby he got me Chipotle I took me well actually I've been home for probably like a couple of hours now well probably since what time is it right now let's see so it's six o'clock y'all I've been home since about 12 yeah 12 and as soon as I got home your girl changed her clothes because I did not want to get into the bed with my um, airport clothes on. And I did not feel like taking a shower. I know. I'm. Y'all got to understand. Your girl is tired, okay? <laughs> but I had went straight to sleep, you guys. Like, I was just done for. Even on the flight, I would just feel so just weird. Like, I, I texted my baby. I was like, I feel super exhausted. Like, my body was tingling, my heart, like, I just felt like my heart was pumping, like, my body was trying to tell me, like, you need sleep, like, go to sleep, or if you don't go to sleep, you about to faint, and I really felt like I was about to faint, and thankfully, um, you know, a flight attendant, she came over, she asked if I was okay and stuff, and she gave me some water, and I was just trying to hold it out till I landed. Y'all, the flight from Baltimore to, um, Houston, it was three hours was it three hours? It was, yeah, it was about three hours. Three hours and like ten minutes. So, that's a long time. Especially if you ain't get no sleep. And y'all know how uncomfortable it is. Especially if you ain't got no window seat. Because I did not have no window seat going to Baltimore or back. So, I'm literally like trying to hold my head up while sleeping. Like, it was just so, it was just, it was a crazy, crazy trip back. But, it was definitely worth it. As far as getting there. I wouldn't say going back. If I would have known all this was going to happen. I probably would have. Uh, I don't know. But honestly no. I pause. I probably would do it over again. I hate to say that. But that's how y'all know I had fun. Like I would definitely. if I'm not going to say I want to. But if I had to. I would probably do it all over again. Because the trip was honestly like worth it. That was my first time out the country. With my best friend. And a friend of ours. And it was just such a blessing to be out there being able to go to another country. And I just thank God for that experience. And I cannot wait. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Hold on. My voice is like gone right now for me not getting enough sleep. Which is crazy because your girl is exhausted. So if y'all if y'all hear like me talking soft, babe, am I talking soft? Or I don't feel like I'm raspy. I feel like <clears throat> Yeah, it do sound like I lost my voice. But um uh, also, part of that was from the trip of us, like, screaming and just having fun and stuff, so. But, yeah, y'all, it was just definitely an experience. Uh, I, got to I got to share my first time going out of the country with some great, amazing people, you guys. Shout out to my girl, Niaja. She literally was there with me, um, cause Morgan had her flight before ours. But Morgan, she was definitely making sure I was good, texting me, trying to give me another flight. Cause y'all know Morgan's a flight attendant and I was on standby. And I just learned that I will never, ever be on standby ever again coming from a country. Like, don't ever do that. You just never know what could happen. That's a major risk. Like, what happened to me, I would never thought. They said, oh, the plane is in balance, so you're not able to get on. And the lady just said, he's so nonchalant. Oh, not only that, oh, I forgot to say, shout out to my agent. Thank you, girl, for being just there for me and just helping me when I could not help myself at that moment because I literally was just in shock and I was like, oh my God, I'm about to stay in the country. What the world going on? But it worked out. But um, also, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, my bag is currently still in Punta Cana. Y'all, what the world? Like, ugh. literally, before I got on the Baltimore flight, he said, okay, I'm going to change your bag to go to Houston when you arrive. So I'm thinking my bag is coming with me to Baltimore and then to Houston. No, what they did was they unloaded my bag um, from the first flight, the original flight I was going to. They unloaded the bag and they never loaded my bag onto the new flight. So even people at the airport in Houston was like, oh yeah, they messed you a bag. Like 
They was supposed to put your uh your suitcase, your check bag onto the new flight and they didn't. But luckily, I was not I, luckily they found it and it's in Punta Cana. It's actually on the way here. I should be getting it either tomorrow or within the, or within the next two days. So hopefully, baby, they don't lose it. Because if they do, oh I'm best believe filing a claim. I really need to file a claim now and say, hey, y'all need to give me some type of compensation because that was just crazy, like that whole th that whole thing. But I can't I can't even be mad. Like the trip was good. I found my bags. I got here home safely. I'm with my family. Like I am amazing. Okay, I'm just blessed. You know, I lost my voice, and your girl's still exhausted. But that's all temporary. But I hope y'all enjoyed this trip, y'all. I had so much fun. I cannot wait to give y'all more travel vlogs. This is my first, my very first consistent vlog for y'all. Because usually I be trying to vlog and I be forgetting to pull out the camera. But I for, I never forgot about y'all on this trip. Like, my J Aces, I never forget about y'all. Like, I was like, ooh, that look cute over there. Or, ooh, we having fun. Like, let me show y'all. So, I'm just very happy I stay consistent with bringing y'all along with me on my first time out the country. And best believe there's going to be more, especially with me and my baby. He's getting his passport very, very, very soon. And I just cannot wait, y'all. I cannot freaking wait for what the future has in hold for me, me and my baby, this channel, my J Aces. I cannot wait, y'all. Like, we, we in there, okay? I told y'all 2024, I'm vlogging. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for y'all. So... I'm about to go ahead and get some rest. I hope y'all enjoyed my Punta Cana vlog. And yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the family. And don't not forget to turn the notice on because I best believe there's gonna be a, there's gonna be another video coming out soon after this vlog. So yeah, but I love y'all and also follow my Instagram, my TikTok at jmichael. And I love y'all so much. And without further ado, this video is a wrap well no this vlog is a wrap so love y'all see y'all my next video